tonight we are in Chino, and we learned this last year because across the street is Chino Hills. <laughs> the great debate. This is again. Chino. We're at Frosty's Forest. It is opening weekend for the Haunted Harvest. It is a haunted corn maze with haunted houses spread out throughout. what? Corn maze. Okay. What did I say? No, oh, yeah. And this was one of my favorite events last year. It creeped me out, and I do not get scared at any of these things. And I was freaked out well, by a couple of them. Some of it's based on real stuff. Yeah, well. some of it's I'm real stuff. This year, the setting when you walk in is set in 1997 at Haunt Buster Video. And they charge a late fee to the wrong guy. That's <laughs> pretty so, much what it is. <laughs> so let's go in and see what's in store here. 2023 opening weekend for the Haunted Harvest. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I think that might be the guy they charge a late fee. <laughs> Welcome to Hot Busters. Be sure to return all your movies or we're gonna charge you a shoe late fee. You want any more late fees, do ya? Yeah. Now come on in and enjoy our horror movie nostalgia. Come on in. Yeah. Yeah! 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 Look at that's a creepy shot. So we are editing this a bit because there are some folks in front of us, so we are cutting out just a small amount of the corn maze. 
just so, because we keep stopping and letting people pass. And then we're trying to turn the lights off and not blind all the scare actors. Please, if you go through a haunted house, either here or anywhere, please turn your flash and your uh, camera lights so off because it's incredibly bright and it blinds the actors. But we asked for permission tonight since we are filming. Otherwise, you couldn't see them on camera. You can see them when you're walking through, but you can't see them on camera. So please be polite. And I think we gave these folks uh, enough time to get ahead of us. So let's continue here. Look how creepy we are without the light, see? Ooh, let's go. <laughs> Actually, very up. Oh. And it's early in the season, so the corn is completely full and hasn't been trampled over yet because this is opening weekend. Nick. So they're saying it's oh, oh this way. eating dinner in there. So there was a couple in front of us and now they're gone. <laughs> oh there they are. Okay, they're still alive. <laughs>
Have you been naughty or have you been nice? Well, I said nice last time. It didn't help, so I'm gonna just be naughty. Well, either way, you get the price. <laughs> Is this the corn coming in? Yes. Oh, wow. I've never seen that. Oh, there's a spider. Look. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh. Oh, there's... I did. For everybody that did not know, in Arizona, I actually worked on a farm. 180 acre farm that did have a pumpkin pest. Oh, oh. Look who, who, who do we have over here? Oh. What do we got? No, we no, got no. scarier than a haunted house yeah. is YouTubers. Yeah, YouTubers. <laughs> the corn just went in my mouth. Beware when you're in the corn of YouTubers. That is so cool. The corn's coming in. It's the part that you Yeah, the, like the husk. Uh oh, what is this? Next up is the Brujeria. It's a little hard to push through these uh, plastic curtains with the, the camera and the light. This is truly creepy. It really is. There, I don't think there's any other experience like this in the LA area, Southern California, that you can actually walk through a cornfield like this at night. Very, very cool. Look at that. Trying to shine the light off to the side because there are people in front of us and behind us. Don't want to impact their experience.
Nick disappeared. Where'd he go? <laughs> this is cool, isn't it? Like, there's really no experience like this. This is so you much fun. Come to this. Yeah, really the standing like five or six houses inside. Yeah, the it's like a long apartment. experience. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's people behind us. Nick says my outros are too long, so I'm gonna bring him in real quick to tell you what he thought of it, and then I'll finish the... <laughs> oh, I have to have just the right angle, there you go. Uh -huh. So Nick, what did you think? It was really good. It's five or six houses inside the maze, inside the corn maze, and uh -huh. they're all really, really good. Uh -huh. They're creepy, the characters are great, like, they definitely come out and scare you. <laughs> all right, go away. Now I can do my video. He said the battery is dying, and he said it can't die fast Good enough. Good luck to everyone else. <laughs> no, we, we'll be here for another 30 minutes. We had three favorite events last year, all tied for, I think, you know, the number one spot, and this was it. I don't creep easily from these events, and this one totally freaked me out last year. And I think it's just being in that corn and how fantastic the actors oh, are, you know, everything. Yeah, it was... Serial killers, <laughs> and I do it for you. <laughs> really, really well done. We cannot recommend this enough. And the, uh, the Haunted Harvest is inside of Frosty's, which has rides... Amusement park. Yeah, it's like kind of like a well, it's a pumpkin carnival. patch. It's a carnival. There's a carnival rides. There's a family friendly corn maze for you know separate ticket from this, but I cannot recommend right. coming up. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Thank you for having us out. Uh, we really enjoyed it. Uh, give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and follow us on social media. Is that good enough? And we're only at a minute and twelve seconds on. All right, let's I go. could speed it up and put out a one times three speed, and then it'll be like seventeen seconds. All right. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> One of the coolest things I've seen, they have a little roller coaster that goes through the corn and the Ferris wheel too is in the corn and there's some swings that are further into the corn. That's really cool.